The amount of money Harry's memoir has made in just a few days is quite interesting, but Prince Harry's blockbuster memoir spare has brought the royal family back into the international spotlight with mundane and fascinating details. Kate Middleton, as she is sometimes known to those who remember her before the royal marriage, in her memoirs and in the Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan, is a somber and emotionally cold person. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. In fact, Catherine of Wales, Princess of Wales, appears to be the eternally waiting, true-to-life version of a fairy tale princess who must stoically wait, some pure, others sleeping, for a prince to find and marry them. When she was a beautiful young woman who dated Prince William for nearly 10 years, including a brief breakup, before getting engaged, she was mercilessly dubbed Weighty Katie by the British tabloids. Of course, no one thought that William would be the one waiting. No, fairy tales, monarchies and, frankly, traditional heterosexual propriety to this day keep women waiting to be chosen. Pop culture stories from TV shows like Cinderella, dating back to the 17th century, to The Bachelor continue to confirm this. Women waited for marriage to reward their beauty, charm, or virtue. So it's finally passed to Kate Middleton. But for Kate, getting engaged means one trade for another as she moves into her next very public phase, wedding anticipation. Media coverage during this period has focused on her regal transformation from an athletic young woman with an infectious smile and wavy hair to an impossibly slim, perfectly coiffed swan-like creature. Her beauty becomes ethereal, with no visual disturbances or irregularities to draw attention, hair straight, body smooth, smile distant. Magazines speculate about Kate's frugal weight loss diet and speech lessons designed to polish her accent. However, these newly refined shades remain a mystery, as Kate rarely speaks in public. She becomes the object of a purely visual obsession, a fringe hovering on the threshold of the marriage that she and the world still await. The story of fairy princesses ends with a wedding. A blank and they lived happily ever after is all we can come up with to describe the couple's royal life. So how do you fill this gap? In Kate's case, the media created more of a waiting story, when will she be heir to the throne? So when can we see the baby? So when is the next baby due? She smiled serenely through three, notoriously difficult, pregnancies that hardly changed her fairy tale figure, each time re-emerging as a gorgeous, photogenic Madonna with her baby on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital in London. As a mother and wife, she has remained in control and deliberately patient. Her grace never wavered, even in the face of distractions that might test her mother's temper, such as the public tantrums of young Prince Louis. However, she seems to have found self-expression through one medium, photography. In fact, the princess is such a good photographer that Buckingham Palace sometimes distributes portraits of her family to the media. They are good pictures. They also make it clear how thoroughly she has internalized the idealizing gaze that the palace prefers to train on royalty. With the deaths of Queen Elizabeth and Charles for the British throne, Kate enters another phase of public waiting, this time to become queen in an uphill battle that could last decades and may require a greater level of self-control. A queen is not just a princess, but must be different from ordinary human life, more symbolic than a woman.